So now it's uh, our great privilege that we have the CEO and founder of DealStruck, Ethan Centurio. Would you stand up? Great to have you here. Thank you for joining us, Ethan. So, like I said, um, I'm sort of inspired by, you know, how and why you founded DealStruck. Why don't you tell everyone that story? Sure, yeah. Well, uh, you know, I grew up the son of an entrepreneur, and, you know, out, out of college, I uh, was on Wall Street for a little bit, but then went back into entrepreneurship. And so I've sort of been around people struggling to find ways to get money to get their businesses <laughs> off the ground for the better part of 25 years, which is most of my life. And, um, you know, wanted to start a business that helped support entrepreneurs that allowed me to also be an entrepreneur and uh, take part in, in their great stories and solve a big problem. What were some of the challenges when you got started? Well, actually, when we first started, we didn't have anyone with a sales background on our team. I had a, a, a technological co-founder and myself and a credit guy. And so we didn't know how to get a customer. We didn't know how to keep track of a customer. We didn't know what a prospect was or anything. And we actually took three months to make two loans. And we actually had to stop and say, there's got to be a better way. And so that's when one of our investors turned us on to Salesforce, turned us on to the CRM. Uh, tool and we uh, started using it effectively and over the next three months we were able to build a pipeline see the pipeline manage it and nice. close you know 25 loans in the same period of time awesome awesome story so how has Salesforce really helped you drive your strategy forward so our whole business is built on Salesforce similar to the video that kicked this presentation off in financial services you have lots of legacy systems and so you might have four or five different solutions all kind of glued together in our business all the way from the first time you know Jasmine would come in the door as a lead through the time that you would be our customer service by one of our executives the entire company works in Salesforce and so it makes it very easy to manage the team to set performance goals and to make sure that you know everyone is uh, getting access to the data quickly that they need Thanks. You know, there's a lot of businesses in this room, maybe even people who are thinking about starting a business. Any advice for somebody getting started? Yeah, I guess, you know, as it pertains to Salesforce in particular, <laughs> I would say, you know, adopt it early. We started with the $5, you know, cheapest license that you can have just to put a contact into it. And it gave us a ton of productivity. And one of the things that we found is that, you know, if you let people work in unstructured ways and Excel spreadsheets or Word docs for too long, it gets really hard to actually put structure around that uh, after the fact. And so investing early in CRM, investing early in a tool like Salesforce that has so many other support tools has really you know, helped us supercharge uh, our team and make sure that everyone kind of does stuff consistently in the organization. So what's next for DealStruck? Well, I guess hopefully many more stories like, you know, like Jasmine's and the Lobos truck. Um, you know, we've got a great team and, and a big industry and a lot of change to make. So we hope to make you know, thousands of loans over the coming year, years and have many success stories with customers. Well, so to help achieve that goal, Ethan, we have a lot of businesses out here. What if they need access to capital? What should they do? Yeah, well, you know, if you need to pay your Salesforce contract, you need a loan to do it. <laughs> then uh, come to uh, www.dealstruck.com and go through our customer experience and uh, we, we'll, we'll help you out with that. Thank you so much, Ethan. Congratulations on your great success. Jasmine, awesome. Tony, back to you.